Okay. So the way the early psychosis program works, okay, so this is after all the hospitalizations. He was hospitalized in and out for a year. Different medicines did not work. And I guess they worked to a certain degree, but he was not stabilized. So got him to the early psychosis program. He was released from the hospital. Got him the early the way that early psychosis programs work. It is not a hospital. It's not an inpatient program. It's like a more holistic approach. So the patients come one day a week to meet with the psychiatrist for medicine management. You also have a recovery coach, somebody that meets you. They would work with him in the field, so they would meet him at school. And then there, you had an employment support coach to help train him for vocational mm -hmm. skills and professional right. skills. And then you also had the parent component. So you, you, the parents will come every other week. It was a more collaborative team approach to recovery. And the focus is on recovery. And that's why you have a recovery approach too. Once he got in that, he got in clozapine. That was the medicine Dr. Howe put him on. After he got into this, he never was hospitalized, not on wet ever again. Mm -hmm. It's a very supportive approach. You're looking at helping the person from every aspect to reach their full potential is goal-based. Mm -hmm. So he worked with the recovery coach, set up his goals. What does he want to achieve for himself? It was goals driven. So he got to set, where does he want to see himself in the next year? Where does he want to be in two years? Make strides towards those goals. And as I said, it's a collaborative, the parents are involved. So you do have the parent meetings, you're, you're involved. And I think that was it's a very successful program.